all right my fighters so as you can see we are getting a new legends all-star banner so we are going to talk about the banner and whether you should summon on it or not but before we start don't forget to subscribe like and share to support the channel and without any further ado let's just get started so as you can see the banner has actually uh, mecha frieza and uh, goku black on it and it is coming on the 31st of uh, of august uh, and basically as you can see as I said before, it has Mecha Frieza on it. Why couldn't they put Mecha Frieza on the banner of uh, Super Saiyan Trunks? Well, they would have lost billions if they would have done that, right? <laughs> they would have lost billions. Anyways, it's uh, just so disappointing and so dissatisfying, but it's uh, just what they always do. They don't really care. They don't give a damn about it. So yeah, as you can see, Mecha Frieza is going to be purple. And he is going to have the the, the tags Frieza Force and Lineage of Evil. That's all he is going to have. Why not Android? He is half Mecha. He is he is literally called Mecha Frieza. Why not having Androids? <laughs> like seriously, the Androids Android 18 and 17 are also humans who are created as Androids. So why not giving actually Mecha Frieza Android tag? I really don't understand. He is literally from the Android Saga as well. So, like, seriously, dude. Like, whatever. Special move: Death Blaster uh, deals massive explode damage plus 20% to special move damage inflicted for three timer counts up on activation. Randomly destroys three enemy cards on hit. So it is close to basically the special move of Ultra Super Gogeta which makes it uh, straight up very very good uh, main ability you are the one who's going to die draw a special move arts card next so he doesn't have a, an ultimate uh, the restores on key by 50 restoring key on main ability is just straight up perfection uh, inflict all enemies with no switching for three timer counts that makes it even better Destroys all of your enemies special move arts cards. Well <laughs> That is good. That is good uh, Because if the opponent has actually special move arts you want to destroy them inflicts enemies with uh, enemy with attribute downgrade minus 100% to health restoration for 20 timer counts His main ability looks phenomenal to be, uh, to be honest like seriously the special skill you will know the wrath of Frieza, the wrath of the dragon. <laughs> Restores on key by 40. Uh, plus 20% to damage inflicted for 20 timer counts and inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade minus one, ar uh, minus one arts card draw speed level for 10 timer counts. So as usual, every special is every special skill that restores key is just perfection. Now the thing that it needs is basically to draw a card, but it seems that he isn't going to do it. Applies the following effects to self if enemy health is 50% or below. If enemy health, not your health, but enemy health is 50% or below, draw a special move arts card next, activates once. Increases Arts card draw speed by one level for 10 timer counts. So basically, he draws a special move Art, but only if the enemy's uh, uh, if the enemy's health is below 50% and uh, it is only one time. He isn't going to draw it more more than one time. The Z ability. We will take a look at the uh, seven uh, the, the seven red stars. Uh, plus 3% to blast arts damage inflicted by lineage of evil and plus 35% to, to damage or to uh, base strike and blast attack uh, for both basically lineage of evil and uh, freeze of force so he is a character that is going to be actually focused around lineage of evil uh, but you can use him with freeze of force as well then you have the unique ability powered by hatred the following effects occur when battle starts plus 80 percent to damage inflicted as i said before this is actually the norm now you are going to always see this uh, plus 80 percent to damage inflicted on every single u first unique ability of every single new character reduces damage received by 50 percent minus 10 
to own blast and special move arts costs. Increases own arts card to draw speed by one level for 80 timer counts, which is pretty phenomenal actually. Inflicts all enemies that attack Super Saiyan with attribute downgrade minus 30% the critical rate. <laughs> he is designed to be the, the character that actually counters uh, Super Saiyan ranks instead of the opposite. He should be the character that gets destroyed by Super Saiyan ranks. Like, hello? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Anyways, additional plus 15% uh, uh, to damage inflicted by allies if there if there is a tag Super Saiyan enemy battle member run, remain remaining for 80 timer counts. Like what the hell? Which match is going to remain for for 80 timer counts? This is just stupid. Like seriously stupid. The following effect secure after enemy attack is over. Randomly destroys one of your own cards and draws a special move arts card next. Activates twice. That is a pretty cool one. Uh, restores own key by 40. Inflicts enemies with attribute downgrade plus 10 to strike arts cost for 5 timer cuts. And then we have plus 25% to damage inflicted every time this character uses special move arts card cannot be cancelled so this is going to be actually a buff, a permanent buff and then activates 3 times so basically you are going to get up to 75% uh, extra damage inflicted if you use basically 3 special moves and then mechan mechanized uh, flesh Reduces impact, explode, and furious damage received by 30%. Nullifies own abnormal conditions, and basically the following effects occur if uh, own remaining health is 50% or below after being hit by an enemy's arts attack. Restores own health by 25%. It activates only once. Uh, and cancels on attribute downgrades, reduces enemies dragon balls by 1 and seals all enemies main abilities for 10 timer counts, inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade minus 1 to arts card draw speed level for, one, for 10 timer counts. So this ability would have made him perfection but unfortunately as you can see the whole ability activates only once nothing more just once so basically uh, and you can understand it because it is if, if uh, own remaining health is below 50 percent so you can't have it below 50 percent more than once uh, but if they would have made it actually when you get attacked or something like that you maybe destroy the enemy's dragon balls uh, basically every time that happens or you seal the enemy's uh, main ability every time that happens that would have made it much better, but uh, he, he looks okay. I wouldn't say that he is on the level of uh, Purple Whis or basically the Golden Frieza, but he is okay. Like uh, for a new character, he looks pretty, pretty cool. Uh, he has some useful abilities, but he isn't something that uh, is, oh wow, that's super broken. Anyways, we have Goku Black now. And uh, as I said before, the art of Goku Black looks just fire. Like, seriously, look at this man. He looks just so, so awesome. Anyways, his color is going to be basically, or his attribute is going to be blue. And he is going to be a support type unit. <laughs> so expect nothing from him anyway. Um, he is going to have the character tag, Saiyan, future and powerful opponent. His special move... Key Burst Kick. Is this going to be a new special move? I hope so. I hope so. Uh, deals massive explode damage. The following effect secure on hit. Inflicts enemies with attribute downgrade minus 100% to health restoration for 3 timer counts. Inflicts enemies with, at with uh, 3 substitution counts. Blast armor when changing forward. Oh, he's going to ch or when charging forward. <laughs> he is going to charge forward with it. It might end up being actually a new one. Because it's not a black Kamehameha, that is for sure. So we will see what he is going to do. Anyways, the main ability, Exalted Ideals. 
Draw a special arts card next, restores ally health by 20%, destroys all of your enemies' cards, applies attribute upgrade, shortens at substitution count by 5 to self, and effect 3 sets after character switch. So, this looks pretty phenomenal to be honest. This looks pretty good for, uh, for a support fight unit, of course. And then the special skill, Refined Power. Randomly draws one new card, shortens allies substitution counts by 3, Cancel any, uh, cancels allies uh, attribute downgrades and abnormal conditions, and plus 30% to special move damage inflicted. Cannot be cancelled and activates twice, so he can get actually up to 30-60% to 60 uh, special move damage, but it's for him, not for the allies. It could have been 10 times better if it was for the allies, but whatever. The Z ability, plus 3% to special move damage inflicted by tag future and 35% 30, to tag future and powerful or powerful opponent, uh, base strike attack and blast defense. So it is okay, it's not something special, but it's okay. The unique ability, Vanguard of Destruction, plus 25% to damage inflicted against tag future of course <laughs> of course not science not the uh, hybrid science but future of course the following effects occur when bottle starts plus 80 percent to damage inflicted reduces damage received by 50 percent and plus 15 percent to damage inflicted by allies the last one is actually what makes it special because the rest as i said before is going to be on every single character also applies the following effects to self if the if this character is the leader. What the hell? <laughs> Are you serious? Plus 30% to special move damage and plus 80% to key recovery. That is actually something crazy. But whatever. Applies the following effects to self every time an arts card is drawn uh, while this character is on the battlefield. Strike Arts card plus 20% to damage inflicted, okay. Last Arts card plus 20% to damage inflicted. It's plus 20% to damage inflicted, it's not to strike damage or blast damage, it's to damage inflicted. Just remember that. <laughs> and Special Arts card increases Arts card draw speed by one level, okay. Special move. Restores key by 50. Are you serious? He's, he draws a special move. He can use it directly without even using anything to recover key. He just directly can use it. Like, what the hell, dude? <laughs> Anyways, unknown adversary. The following effects occur when charging, when changing uh, cover. Inflects all enemies with attribute downgrade plus 15 to special to special and special move arts costs. White special and special move to special skill and special move arts cost. They, they, they forgot the skill there. Anyways, reduces damage received by 20% until combo ends. And uh, the following effects occur when this character is switched to standby, restores on health by 10%, activates 5 times so he can restore up to 50% of his HP. Restores ally key by 30, inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade plus 15% to damage received, inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade plus 5 to strike and blast arts cost uh, for 10 timer counts. Reduces enemy key by 70 when this character defeats an enemy, which is just crazy. Randomly draws one new card if you have 3 or fewer cards. Uh, when enemy switches characters while this character is on the battlefield and randomly draws at most 4 new cards if you have uh, 3 or fewer cards after enemy attack is over. So he looks a pretty good character when it comes to support character but he isn't on the level of uh, Bardock or Vados. I think that Bardock and Vados are actually 10 times better. Um, so. If you ask me whether you should summon on this banner or not, I would say no, because there is nothing special about both of them. 
If you are a fan of them, then by all means do whatever you want, whether you want to summon or not, that is up to you, but in case you just want to follow the meta or whether you actually think whether it is actually good to summon on this banner or not, I would say no. Save your Chrono Crystals for the upcoming Legends Limited character or for the Legends Festival, it's going to be 10 times better actually than summoning for these characters. Anyways, with that being said, that was everything for today, let me know your opinion about it in the comments section below, what do you think uh, we should do, should we summon on the banner or not, and yeah, basically with that being said, that was everything for today, I hope that you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that they can enjoy it too, and if you got any useful information from this video or if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe my channel and turn on the notification bell beside it so that you stay notified with everything you know about uh, Dragon Ball Legends, and with that being said, see you as always in the next video of Dragon Ball Legends.